today we are bringing you a very special VTuber date show featuring Project Melody as our beloved date and 10 fantastic contestants that we vying for our heart. At the end, only one will survive and the rest will be way to waste. What's up, mother truckers? <laughs> These beautiful contestants we have gathered here today, we're gonna give them all a brief introduction and then we'll get the show started on the effing road. I'm Camila, I am an imp, I'm a demon. Hi, my name is Cotton Telvier. I'm a not safe work voice actor, so yes, that does mean I voice hentai. If you don't know what hentai is, just ask your father. My name is Ellie, I'm a crime boss VTuber. I love heists, I love stealing. I'm a shrine fox, I love playing video games. I'm uh, very fluffy in many different places. Hello, my name is Karimi, I'm a golf yandere waifu. I hope you like knife play because that's a uh, kind of my thing. My name is Mione. I am sort of a bunny, sort of a space being. I may have a little bit of experience dealing with AI. I am Necrolina. I'm an undead cat necromancer. My name is Porcelain Maid. I used to be a sexy sack of man meat before I died and my soul got trapped inside the body of a sexier female doll. Hi, my name is Jack Chan. I'm an isekai truck. You like boobs? I got boobs and I can have eyes on my boobs. What? <laughs> Hi, Mel. I'm Vexoria the Sun Eater, but you can call me Mommy. Melody, what do you think about these fantastic contestants? Oh my god, how am I gonna choose? Oh my god! I was making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch, but I forgot all of the ingredients. How do you console me? <laughs> you're telling me we're trying to find the love of your life, but you're talking about peanut butter and jelly. I will try to fly on my one wing and do the most that I can to get the ingredients for you. We'll, we'll feast on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches together till the night comes, and then we come. What? Oh. What? <laughs> Such a way with words! Can anyone top that? Sounds like a pretty ideal night. I can't top that, but I can top you. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> Personally, I'm gonna be a hater here. Not a fan of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I think the peanut butter sticks to the roof of your mouth, uh, but we can find something else that sticks to the roof of my mouth. She just went against your peanut butter and jelly story. How do you feel about that? I would say that I'm personally offended on so many levels, <gasps> however, comma. Uh, she got a silver tongue, that one. She <laughs> happy answered the question in a <laughs> negatory way and still came out on top. I Next usually up. do. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we hop in the whip and I'll take you for a little drive to my favorite favorite sandwich place, and I will get you the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich that you have ever had. I have the brown color to be the peanuts, and you have the purple to be the jelly. Okay, oh. you know we could be mm. a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I do have my own kind of uh, jelly we can use. <laughs> I'll of course console you and give you all the attention and make sure you feel the best you can about the whole situation. Did you just offer me a blood sandwich instead? Oh, no. Upper this flavored is jelly? jelly, darling. Why would it be anything else? Uh, all right, for the sake of this show, that is jelly on her face. If you run out of a peanut butter and jelly, you don't want a dick or a vagina in your face if you're hungry. You want to True. eat first. I'm putting on the clothes and I'm waddling myself to the store and I'm getting that freaking coupon out of the purse, like waddling back and we're making peanut butter and jelly before we Netflix and chill. That's an answer oh. right there. Listen, we go to the store, we get the ingredients and we become the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We satiate our sexual hunger hunger and our real hunger at the same time. Not only would I make you one of the best PB and J's of your life, I could even serve it on a delicious porcelain plate as well, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. Mm. I am a truck. You can just hop inside me and then we can go to the store, get our ingredients and make the best peanut butter sandwiches ever. And if there's any peanut butter and jelly left over, we can use that for other fun stuff later. I'm constantly hungry and horny. So maybe we could go to the store together when oh. we get home. <laughs> Maybe I'll even cut off the crust for you like a good mommy does. Dang, okay, okay. We have these 10 VTubers right here and one of them's got to go home. Damn, you guys make it hard. Yeah, that's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about this? How are you feeling right now? That All is, I yes. know is I gave an answer that I would have loved, so I got to stay true to me yeah. first. That's Dang. respectful, but I'm here yes. to win. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to announce our bottom three. Camila, Fox, Plushy, Karumi. Who are you sending home? Camilla, I want you to know that you have a very petite chest and wonderful thighs, and that is actually my favorite this is combination big info about Melody. this day. Fox Blushy, you are also very kind, and you you did intrigue me at the beginning when you said that you were fluffy in many places. Miss Blushy, you're safe. Krumi, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you so, so much for this wonderful opportunity. I'll see you later, and hopefully next time I get to have your heart forever. <laughs> 
with a heartfelt departure and hopefully everyone else's hearts in check, we're gonna go on to the next round. If you were to take Melody on a first date or on a vacation, etc., where would it be? So Mel, I'd want to take you on a roller coaster, mostly to see how loud you can scream. <laughs> okay! I'm a truck that also has the ability to go to other worlds. I can go to a world that has the most beautiful beaches, you know, that aren't even like the ones here on Earth. I got a pretty mansion. I don't know. I think this place looks good. There's a giant rock in the middle. We get a massage, you know, I don't know. Maybe feel a little frisky. What kind of massage? This is something for only for the special dates. So I can obviously what? also what? use my neck. Yo, so no head. We got a little nub. It goes a little bit oh, harder than average. It hits different. I'll take you to an, a nice little beach in VR. You may not have gotten a happy ending in Edge Runners, but I will give you a happy ending that you deserve. Me and Melody, we will go together and we will buy the best bagels in town. And after that, if we have any leftover bagels, we can give those bagel bites to the seagulls. Aww. You know? I was thinking of going to Hot Springs. Gotta make sure you're uh, you're waterproof first, though. Um, <laughs> also, we could dry off after and I can uh, cuddle you in my tail. Since I have a lot of What them. the heck? Oh. I take you to Japan because I live there for a while. It's my favorite place in the world. Start at Okinawa. We could go to the beach, go to some arcades, eat yummy food. Aww. That's my answer. Considering uh, your line of work, comma, I think it would be a lovely idea to go get covered in fluids with you. Uh, I'd take you paintballing. I'd get, oh, I'd get you paintballing. paintballing. It's, it's... I'd cook you up something real nice. <laughs> what is your best meal that you can cook? It's called aglio de olio. It's just loaded with butter and olive oil and all garlic and all the good stuff. Because I feel like the way to a person's stomach. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get to a bottom three right now. Vexoria, porcelain made truck chan. This hurts me so deeply. Melody, thank you so much for signing up for the show. I hope you enjoy breaking people's hearts. Porcelain made. Uh -oh. I want you to know. What the fuck is that, Philly? What do you mean? Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I am afraid of large open spaces because the more space there are, the more opportunities for ghosts to be hiding. The closer you are to me, the less space there will be. That does rhyme. <laughs> I like that you're a smart ass. You get the rose. Let's go! Luxoria, you doing your research? Like, oh my god, that means so much. That's so nice. You get the rose. Chuck Chen, you will be going home today. I'm th thankful that you invited me, and it was very nice meeting all of you lovely folks, and I hope to talk to you all again soon. Make sure she doesn't run over you on the way out. What is something that you truly admire about Project Melody? I didn't stalk Melody, so there's not much that I really know about her, never, but I'm never, hoping never, never, never. that it can happen naturally through our dates. As another uh, fellow NSFW creator, it is really respectable that you kind of paved the way for VTubers to be able to have that spotlight on them in that sort of way. Never. Melody is basically mm -hmm. the Uber mm -hmm. of cam girls. <laughs> <laughs> and all the taxes are pissed. If your genuine nature really like comes through. That's what I really admire about you. You have a lot of achievements. Achievements. You started like VTubing in 2020. You're already like this big. That's amazing and incredible. I'm proud of you. You really helped to make like hentai cool. You know, I I would <laughs> when I had True. my friends come over, they would see my anime figure collection and they would make fun of me for having lewd figures. Thanks to you, I can embrace it and I feel understood. The fact that you're so open about sexual topics, you don't have a filter, you're always curious and willing to learn new things. Just being able to see a VTuber coming from a sex worker background and especially knowing how fucking, how badly they're treated by so many people was not only inspiring, but it's incredibly cool to see that VTubers can come from all different kinds of backgrounds. And I'm honestly incredibly proud of everything you've done. You're an adorable dork. And <laughs> You always make me laugh. The world needs more of people like you who are willing to open the eyes of others to the sexier things in life in a more comfortable way. We have gone through all of our answers here. Are you ready to make a decision or would you like to ask another question? I have unwholesome <laughs> questions. I've been framed. No. For murder. Oh. What? Oh no. Snack you bring me during our scheduled visitation. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Not to oh, like help frick. you out or anything? Not to buy a lawyer? I mean, I did it. Just what snacks you gonna bring me? This is easy. It's Pop-Tarts and Pussy. No! <laughs> 
Where's the, what do you bring oh in my... Melody when she's in jail? Give me a second. I'm still fucking blown by just <laughs> hearing pop. <laughs> <and> <laughs> the same I would bring you, as you said before, PB and J, but maybe there's a little something more in the PB and J. Maybe another knife, oh. something to break you out of there so you can commit more crime. Because God damn it, do whatever you want in life. If crime makes you happy, do it. I do remember from earlier that you like rainbow coffee, PB and J, Oreos. I bring you everything, and then oh. I also murder someone, and we sit in that jail cell and we snack on everything together. <laughs> DNA, what would you bring Melody if she was in jail for a snack? Glue. What? Glue is great for arts and crafts. Oh, arts and crafts. <laughs> That's a 10. <laughs> Holy frick, she's spelling the game. <laughs> well, if we're bringing snacks, I could bring myself. Give you a little kiss to the <laughs> bars. I'll mm -hmm. sing about that. <laughs> I am a criminal myself. I gotta let y'all know food in prison is absolutely terrible. And what I crave the most when I'm there is some good home cooked meals. I would bake you some cookies. Since Melody is AI, I would get her a gigabyte. Ah. Hey. Hey. I'd bring you the lollipop that looks like a dick that you get at the back of a, oh, a Hot Topic store. You could eat it, but you could also use it for something else. Melody, it's up to you to pick a bottom three for this round. I think it's been a pretty solid round so far. Porcelain. All right. Slushy and Camilla. Porcelain, why should you not be eliminated? I think a life of crime together could be fun. Maybe go out, commit some genocide. It could be a good time. <laughs> Just what? throw it out there a little bit. It could be good. I have a sugar mommy side of me. So if you like that, be a little bit mommy for you. I have a whole entire list of every single game that I've erotic role played in. There's VR chat. There's Roblox. There's... Roblox! Um, <laughs> Think oh. about the children! <laughs> Melody, it's all up to you. Fox Plushy, you're very genuine and very sweet and very kind. You mentioned that you are a sugar mama. I am a grandfather. Oh. I just want people to call me daddy or grandpa. <laughs> She's a grandmaster. <laughs> Camilla, your ears are driving me wild and I can't stop looking at them. And also the Roblox, you've got me. No way, the Roblox is the plus one. For a negative, you're very kind. That was the positive for Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Porcelain. Hit it with me. Your personality is hilarious. I love it. Thanks. However, I'm ready. I am terrified of dolls. Porcelain, oh. you're off the island. No! no! You're going to hear from HR in. about this, Fillion. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to go now. Our question for this next round is gonna be, what do you not like about people? I'm an honest person and I really value honesty. So people who like, lie. What I don't like about people is people in general. I'm not racist, I hate everyone. What? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I wake up in the morning, I boot up Twitter, and I see people, like, they often take the path of, like, least resistance, I guess. I feel like the internet just loves to hate for no reason. I want a present where I can wake up and I feel more excited about the future. People who are still living in, like, the 1800s with their brains, they look at you streaming and they say, there's no way that you don't have social anxiety. You're a streamer. People like that piss me off. The people that dictate other people's relationships. What does X think about you doing lewd content. That's what I hear a lot. That kind of really grinds my gears because quite frankly, it's none of their damn business. I'm going to bounce back from what you said about me earlier about being too nice. I'm an imp. I, I don't do nice. I think you've disrespected me enough for not being in my bed. <laughs> I'm not a fan of people who judge people based on what they do for work. So like, you know those people who are dickheads to waiters? I'm just like, you are scum of the earth. All right, Melody, it's time. The bottom three are Camilla, Fox Plushy, Vexoria. There is one of them that I'd rather put in my pocket instead of in my pants. Fox Plushy. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. We love you, Fox. Bye. 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 Say you're in a relationship with Melody for a long time, and suddenly Melody loses their streaming career. Both of them. What are you doing? I would hold down the fort and maybe bomb you a little bit until Ooh. you figured out where you wanted to go from there. And once you found that road, I would follow you down it every step of the way. Melody may have been the bread baker, but it's my turn now to bake the bread, to provide the fruits of my labor, and to put my buns in her oven. What? what? The last thing that I would want you to do is just settle and not be happy in whatever that you were doing. Nobody needs to suffer through something that they're not happy in. And if you're not happy, I'm not happy. So I'm working with you, and I got you covered until you figure it out. 
it's whatever you want to do. If you don't ever want to work another day in your life, honey, I will carry you. I promise you. So unlike my father, I'm not just going to drop my partner when things get tough. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wait, hold hold to the the deep rooted <laughs> drama just got to confess. I just celebrate uh, what you did with your career that you had at the time. I wouldn't rush you through the grief of losing your job because yeah, shit's tough. You have a lot of experience. You could teach me how to provide for us. I would send you all the money that I made so that you can grandpa me. And I think it's time to get into the eliminations. Our first entrance into the bottom three. She's been here the entire time just about. <laughs> Camila, you are literally mirror's edge. Vexoria, Cottontail. I'm gonna ask another question. If I was a flavor of children's shampoo, what would I taste like? Melody, what? <laughs> After I guzzle the entire bottle of what? that shampoo, <laughs> I can't help but taste a beautiful, luminescent lavender. Cilantro. So tastes like soap. <laughs> soap tastes like soap, baby. Hi, Melody, you're like so soap. flavored. If you were a flavor, I would probably say vanilla. Vanilla tastes delicious, and I could just use my tongue to lick you up like that. What? That is a long tongue. Mm -hmm. Well, Melody, it is up to you to decide right now. I don't think I deserve Vexoria. Mel, we had so I, much in common. It's not you, I it's know. her. The classic. Vexoria, thank you so much for coming on to the show today. All thank right. you very much for the opportunity. It was nice to meet you all. What is an embarrassing fact about yourself, an embarrassing situation you found yourself in that you feel is important to share with Melody to tell you a bit about yourself? My mom was like yelling at me. She was like, hey, where the heck am I supposed to put this? My streamer brain was still on at the time. And so I yelled at her, mom, put it in my ass. <laughs> 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 Wait, no, I spit water on my floor. <laughs> Yo, Camila, where are you located out of? Is it the U.S. or is it Alabama? I can't tell right now. <laughs> I don't know what Melody thinks about that, depending on what she watches on Hentai Haven. Uh, anyway. Uh, when I was a wee little lass, I had a Polly Pocket. I was very curious because I, I kept putting them in my mouth. Story. And I was like, huh, if they go in this mouth and this hole, what other hole go into? So I was home alone. I was six. And let's just say my mom walked into something being in me where it should not have been and she pulled it out of me and it, it like what? popped out. What? Your mom would pull it out? It was my favorite Polly Pocket and she threw it in the trash. Why'd you put it in your ass? I'm a curious child. <laughs> okay, one thing about me that's kind of embarrassing is that I'm not a good swimmer. Cue last year where I am with some friends, I got invited to go swimming. My plan was that I wasn't even gonna really go in. I got pushed in. Instead of even attempting to save myself, I just sunk. I just oh, sat no. there and Guess I didn't I'll know die. what to do. My friends who were there, they were looking at me like, Ellie, you okay? They like yelling at me. I'm just sitting on the bottom waiting for someone to come rescue me. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> my mom was a quack. I was homeschooled my entire life. She even called it a something different. She called it unschooling. Honestly, it's a fucking miracle that I know how to read. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully okay, she doesn't YouTube. do her taxes. <laughs> they yeah. haven't caught me yet. I'm changing my name every year. What is this, Alabama 2.0? <laughs> Wait, my Yune. Okay. You said you're bad at math, right? Yeah. But here's the question. What's 25 plus 25? 50 nuts no. in your mouth. Stop! No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> My father was a chronic smoker, had no real teeth, and uh -huh. did not need his electric toothbrush. So I began this love affair with this electric toothbrush. Wait! Oh, wait, no. stop! Fast forward, I moved out of my parents' house. I did not take the toothbrush with me. I hid the toothbrush away in, like, the storage closet. I come home a couple weeks later, and I see that my sister has adopted the toothbrush to use <laughs> to brush her teeth. Oh, her teeth. Okay, well, I mean, Jesus Christ, no. man. It is time to pick a bottom three. Our first member. Would anyone like to venture a guess? <laughs> Camille, welcome to the bottom three. Cottontail. Necrolina. Sorry. Necro. Necro, thank you so much for coming on the show. You have been fantastic. Thank you, thank you for having me. What is something outside of streaming yourself that interests you or a hobby for fun or something that you do to make money on the side? I like to go crabbing. Set up this thing called the crab snare and I freaking thrust that thing into the ocean. You wait 10 minutes, let it sit. And then you reel it back really fast. It feels like a tire that you're bringing up through the ocean. You bring it up and it's a freaking dungeonous crab. Crabs. I would like to become a mechanic regardless. I want to learn how to fix cars and customize them. And I want to be able to build my own car one day. It came to me in a dream. 
dream to become an acupuncturist. So for three years, I studied acupuncture and then I got my degree in my spare time. I stab yeah. people with needles to make them feel better. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a balloon VTuber. That would be dangerous. If we're talking like a dream career that I can make money from, it'd probably be singing because I really like singing. All right, Melody. Oh Cotton and Cam. I'm shocked. Unfortunately, painfully, vote Cottontail. Thanks for having me on. Uh, I had a lot of fun and it was very nice getting to talk to you guys. Good luck in your job interview thank that you. I see you're about to embark upon. Yeah, oh, thank you. Okay, wait, wait till <laughs> we leave. Wait, wait, you gotta leave before you start. We are in the top three situation of a VTuber elimination dating featuring Project Melody. She has destroyed the hopes and dreams of seven VTubers <laughs> and nothing can stop her. <laughs> What is something that people don't commonly know about you that is very important to you? I actually used to foster baby kittens. I'm like a total green thumb. I love all kinds of plants, even another little kind of plant, which I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about. I'm really into fashion. My family and I, we were really poor and we didn't have much clothing. So I had to, to take what we had and make the most out of it so that I would stop getting bullied <laughs> for my fucking trash clothes. Gonna kick it off to Melody. Okay, okay. Okay, I just want y'all to know, I just want y'all to know. I hate myself, but Cam, you're off the island. <gasps> I can't yeah. stay in the gulag forever, boys. <laughs> Camilla, thank, thank you for you. being a fighter. In the face of danger, you stood up. Thank you. Our final two contestants, Ellie and Miyune. We're gonna have each of them go on a private date with Melody. Hi! <laughs> Hi! Dude, this thing is crazy. I told one friend that I was going on this earlier. I honestly <laughs> thought that I would be like, you know what? It'll be great if I don't get out the first round. That'll be great. They like made this joke to me. They're like, Project uh, Melody, Project Miyune. I'm like, what the heck are they? <laughs> I like You're it though. Yeah, because my chat calls me Hudson. I'm Miu because of my, my blue hair. Mm. So I'm like, you know, we can just become the video game. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Time to wrap it up real no! quick. You want to say anything what? else? What? Give you a few I seconds. I need her more in my life. All right, well, you know what to do then. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Oh, oh, hello there. You must be like super nervous, right? Like it's a lot for you. I, I just assume when I get offline, I'm going to go into my inbox and it's going to be a ton of like, rah! <laughs> You got to follow your heart and you do you. You don't, you know, you don't need to worry about what anybody else thinks. Do you have any questions that were unanswered? I have a million questions, but my brain just goes <laughs> with the silliest ones. Like, do redheads have more fun? Or oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, really? You want to have some fun? I'll take you out with yeah. glass some fun. Melody, this is the final moment. Little Blue, I think you are adorable. I think the only thing we didn't have in common is that I wasn't homeschooled and you're not a sex worker. That's the only difference <laughs> I would say. At least we can change one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Red. I think motorcycles are very dangerous. I would never ride on one. And also, I don't like cars, but I can appreciate passion. Nothing is sexier than passion. Favorite thing about you is your voice. Come if we were on the Titan Titanic and it was going down. If you were the last person, like, it's fine. I'd be like, well, well, she said it was fine, so it's probably okay. <laughs> I'll go down on you like the Titanic. <laughs> I stare into your eyes as I look to my uh, freak, as I look in this direction. Okay. But either at the end of the day, you're a Pokemon whenever, 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 red kid or you're a Pokemon blue kid. They say in life that opposites attract. So unfortunately, I cannot choose <sighs> Mune. <gasps> 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 I can't believe it! Miyune, so you have been eliminated from the show. I just got that old snapped. Yeah. <laughs> Miyune, thank no, you so broken. much for coming on to the show. <laughs> Goodbye, Miyune. Have a great Bye, night. Miyune. Have a great Goodbye. evening. Bye. And with that being said, cue the music, baby. Ellie yes. Ian is our victor, and Melody has found her true love. My god, that is the conclusion of this effing show. Man, I got butterflies. Like, I am just glowing. Thank you so much for choosing me. Like, I really felt like we vibed very well together. And Fillion, you rock. Thank you so much for inviting me. Ellie, would you take care of me, mommy? Of course. I'll take very good care of you. <laughs> That'll pretty Thank much you. be the conclusion for this stream today. Bye. Right. Goodbye.